Hi, welcome to part 11 of my guide, Backgammon for Complete Beginners. Now we've seen how a single game of backgammon ends with one of the players bearing off the last of their checkers into the checker tray and winning the game. But most contests in backgammon aren't decided by a single one-off game, but more by a series of games making up a match. Players play in a match up to a certain number of points. So if the players play a five point match, this doesn't mean that they play the best of five games. It means the first player to reach five points wins the match. In competitive play, tournament level, world championship level, the matches are usually a lot longer, up to a higher level of points than they would be for just casual players. And the longer the match, the higher the point total a player needs to reach to win, the less the luck factor plays the part in the outcome. So, let's suppose the players are playing to a five point match. The first player to reach five points wins the match. And in winning a single game of backgammon, as we've seen, by the one player bears off their checkers before the other player, they would win one point. And here we can see it on the board here now. Black and red are both in the bear off phase, both have checkers in the checker tray, but red has a considerable lead here. And we'll say that red is on roll here, and whatever red rolls with the last two checkers in this position here, he's going to bear off these last two checkers and win the game. And when he does this, just roll it out. Six and a two, but it wouldn't have mattered whatever he rolled here. These would be off, so he clears them off. That's it. Game over. One point to red. He would now be one point to zero. But you can win more than one point in a single game of backgammon. This can either be done via the doubling cube here, which we'll discuss in a forthcoming part. But for now we'll discuss the other means by which players can earn more than one point from one game of backgammon. In the example we've just shown where red won a point, both players had begun their bear off. Both players have checkers in the tray. But if black, for example, was in the position whereby he hadn't begun the bear off, say he had a checker out here in his outfield, or maybe one more back here, and he hadn't begun his bear off at all. No checkers in the tray. Red plays his role and bears off his last two checkers into the checker tray. Red now is said to have won a gammon. And this is because black has not begun the bear off. With no checkers in black's tray when red completes his bear off, Red wins a gammon, and this counts for two points. So you can see how valuable this is. This is the same as winning two single games of backgammon, just by winning this in this position with no checkers in black's tray. Red has won the equivalent of two of those single games. He's won a gammon. So I'll we'll put these back. Now, a thing to bear in mind about a gammon, and I've seen a few beginning players make this mistake in that they assume that when one of the players has all their checkers in their home board and the other player bears off their last checkers they have saved the gammon because they have they've reached the bear off phase their checkers are all in their home board then they have not lost a gammon but they have you still do not save a gammon until you have begun the bear off phase by taking at least one checker off into the checker tray if there are no checkers in the checker tray, even if all of Black's checkers are in his home board, it's still a gammon and Red would win two points. The other way a game can end here is with what's called a backgammon. This is when not only has Black not begun his bear off phase and has no checkers in the tray, but he also has a checker left at least one checker left, either in Red's home board, the opponent's home board, or still has a checker on the bar. If Red bears off now, 
with black on the bar or indeed still having a checker in red's home board. If he bears off now with his last roll he wins a backgammon and this is worth three points, three times a single game. Put those back and there. But the thing is a backgammon is quite a rarity to be seen. In most normal play backgammons only occur once or twice in about every hundred games but when they do occur it can be worth a lot of points three points for a single game and we'll discuss in a later part how these points can be increased with the, by use of the doubling cube